this is Paolo Arcilio. Welcome to my channel. So this is the first video for my how to tech tutorials. What I'm going to show you today is how to install Apache Ant on your Mac. So I'm currently running on Mac OS Shara on version 10.12.3 and I want to install Apache Ant. So first thing to do is hit their website, go to ant.apache.org forward slash manual download that CGI. From there, just grab the latest release. So currently there's 1.9.8 and 1.10. So I grabbed the 1.10. There's several download here depending on your preference. So I just grabbed the easiest one, which is the zip file. I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I won't download it again. So extract that and first thing to do is rename it and the next thing to do is move it to your user.local user for slash local folder so how to do that easiest for me is to do it on the terminal so let me just clear this out so i'm on the tutorials folder so i'm just gonna say sudo uh, move and folder to the user call So that should move that to that directory. So if I switch to that directory and I say CD, let's just go to that directory. So, uh, let me list down the contents of that directory. So the first on the list is the folder that we just moved. As you can see, the folder permissions are incorrect. So let's quickly fix that by saying sudo I'm going to do sudo again, sudo omission, r, and I'm going to say root, real, and the ant folder. So if I quickly do a list again, the permission should be fixed. Cool? That's it. So that's the second step. Next step is to add the ant bin directory to your path. So how to do that is you need to add it to your bash profile. So let me cl quickly clear this out and let's jump to the root directory. So from the root directory, uh, simply edit the bash profile. So my editor of choice is v. So I'm just going to say sudo v.bash.profile. And from here, you add the path to your ant installation. So to quickly do that, I'm just going to add comment. So I'm going to say Apache Ant. And you type in export. And you type in the path equals another variable path. And then I say I'm appending the new path. So I say user call dot ant forward slash bin. That's it. So exit, save. And when I say ant version, it should give me something. So disregard the error on the first one. This is because I have Java runtime environment installed instead of the Java SDK. So I might fix that on another tutorial, but for now, as you can see, Apache Ant is, has been successfully installed. And this is uh, normal. You'd see that when you do the uh, ant version. So that's it. That's my quick and easy tutorial. I hope you like it. And I'll be adding more tutorials soon. So if you have some comments about this tutorial, just hit the comment links section below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.